Hey friends, I am getting ready to go into Tuesday morning. I am in the big truck. So this looks a little bit different. Now lately the Tuesday morning has been eh, like, like I've gone in the last two weeks and actually walked out without even wanting anything. Not that I had any kind of um, self-control. I actually did not want anything because there was either nothing new or nothing exciting or, or whatnot. It just was kind of bleh. So I'm hoping there's something new. You know how like all at once they had all kinds of product in like the week after creativation and for some reason they just have not had anything since then. So I'm going to go in and see if I can film and all that stuff without being too weird. Now the cool thing is at my Tuesday morning, which is right back there, the craft section is in the way back of the store so you can kind of film without looking as weird. So we're going to go on in and see what we find. Oh, and I'm really under the weather, so excuse all of this. Okay, we're going in. All right, so there aren't any new punches that I saw in here, but mine still did have the deer head I know people were looking for, as well as the tab punch, which is really good. I've been using that one constantly. And, oh, I also have that arrow one, and it's kind of nice. You can just punch a few times and build up your uh, your little arrows a bit and it looks like chipboard. Now I don't know a whole lot about the mink supplies but we have a few things in. I mean nothing that looks that amazing. I've seen a lot hauled. They have these creative art kind of kits in and that embroidery looks kind of fun. I used to do embroidery. It's been quite a while. But they do have lots of that kind of stuff in. They had calligraphy. They had like brush lettering stuff in. So if you are hunting for those kind of things, I did see them in this store. I mean, not a bad idea for some Easter basket kind of, kind of things if that is your vibe. That was kind of cool. It's like a little adjustable laptop desk. I was like, eh, interesting if you need that kind of thing. And, oh. I am so sorry if you're the type of people that get motion sickness because I will be moving around during this. So sorry. So now over here in my um, area where they have the paper pads as well as all of the, uh, the collections, I didn't see a whole lot that was new. They did get in a few of the different Easter collections. Those gold leaf things have been there since the dawn of time. The outdoors collection was, has been there. We keep getting the My Arms Eyes stuff kind of over and over. The Dear Lizzie She's Magic is newer, but not new. Now this Bow Bunny Cottontail collection, that is new. I And they, we must have gotten like 20 of those. We had so many of those in. I, I was kind of surprised. And it's super pretty and you don't need to use it just for Easter because they do have a lot of the solids. The Hooray collection's been there forever. There is a little bit of, I think that's Echo Park, right? The Echo Park Easter collection stuff in. We got more of the, the Wild Heart, more of the Flourish collection. This was pretty, the Insta Crush. It's a lot of like the photo realistic looking stuff. And yes, the music you hear in the background was from the store. For some reason, my software is not letting me delete the previous audio is a little bit okay so right there is the glitter girl project pad we have that back in sorry you're hearing some crinkling but really i'm not seeing a ton of new product in right now uh i did look at the little paper pads a tiny bit oh these were cool these were like vellum i was like oh so those are new i i just don't need um you know, much for like pocket scrapbooking, pocket cards and all that. I, I just don't do that kind of scrapbooking stuff or crafting. So we have two sections with paper pads. That is gorgeous. That's the Webster's Pages uh, collection. And I had a few pieces from that. I'm trying not to buy full paper pads right now. Until I use up the mountain of them that I have, I'm trying not to. So... Yeah, I, I wanted to look through and show you what there was, but that was not going to be for me this time around. So, unfortunately, that sunshine uh, kit did make its way home with me, and I will show you my haul uh, at the end of this. 
but so cute very very primary so if you're into the primary kind of color scheme you can use that for male female whatever it's going to work no matter what and so more of the bow bunny stuff i did see a ton of bow bunny there's paper pads and die cuts and all that kind of stuff so if you are a bow bunny fan i would rush up there oh remember this collection it is like hazy sunshiny colors so i remember that back in the day so yeah not not a whole lot new but i just thought i'd show you what my store has and this is a michigan store depending on where you are i know we all get different things and uh, yeah there was just a few pads that were uh down there that oh and those were like all these little gift boxes that's a little bit different so like eight three. But different stuff different stuff to look at all right so now this is where my alphas are and like the, the 6 by 12 slash 12 by 12 sticker sheets you see bow bunny right there there's some creative devotion now those alphas that you see to the right right there i think those are dear lizzie new day i'm not sure but i think and i did pick them up and i end up putting them back along the way I, i'm gonna bring that up again though because i get a little redundant so you saw me grab a couple but i will end up leaving them at the store i'm trying to only pick up black white you know like super usable across five million different collections kind of things see a little dear lizzie back there i see some jen hadfield there's some dear lizzie chipboard uh right there which i already own so see all of the beautiful bow bunny pieces these are like a really nice holographic silver font if you're on the hunt for those. So, oh, there's some Chanel and lots of Sticko and My Mind's Eye product. More Bull Bunny stickers. So yeah, if, if you are on the hunt for these products, I've had a lot of them, um, but I am doing a, a very large uh, stash bush kind of thing right now. And I'm, I'm trying to be super, super choosy about what I bring in. But I'm also lucky enough to be on a couple of design teams, so they send me new product every month to work with as well. So we did get those journal stickers, a couple of the new books in. I did have that from a Secret Not Secret Kit Club order once upon a time. So that sticker book is new for our store, maybe not for your store. So giving you a quick little look through those. Now this little section in my store has like, like scrapbooking or crafting odds and ends. So there's some card kits. Those are transparencies, which are kind of cool if transparencies are your thing. I have a massive collection of them and I don't use them enough and I want to get rid of them. Those are transparencies for the, is it called memo decks, memory decks? Little Heidi Swap uh, storyline collections, which I have three of them and I, haven't used them either. So there's some older Maggie Holmes collection. These are really cool. They're like pocket scrapbooking um, cards that are fully done and dimensional and ready to go for you. So they are beautiful. I don't need them, but they're beautiful and ready to go. So lots of that. There's some more of the, uh, is it memo decks? Mem memory decks? Yeah. I think those are awesome and I'd love to get the unit and then try to collect things and make a little decoration for the house. Those, I think those are for cards. They're really nice, beautiful papers for cards. Those are paper clip things. And we don't have a lot of stuff for new die cuts. Those are stencils by Creative Devotion. So it's a, it's a bit of a mishmash. I am excited about seeing, I don't know, something new. Um, all of those die cuts that you see there, we've had those on and off for the last six months. Nothing new and exciting. Now, those I thought were kind of cool, but I have stuff that looks just like it by Maggie Holmes, so didn't grab that. Those were cute. That was a, a cake topper kind of neat. See those, um, those artsy alphas? I have a ton of loose alphas in this one spot my, in my craft room, and I think that's going to be 
a push coming up to get those used up. I like um, like thicker Zelfas because I can see everything I have. So I do want to work on getting it used. Those were just little um, little notebooks, which are cute. More of the paper clip stuff. Maggie Holmes cards. I'm sure you guys have so much of the same stuff at your store. There's a Fisker's scissors set, which said, you know, they're for sewing, so I don't know if they're fabric scissors or not. It just said sewing essentials. More card making little goodies. Those were little black tabs, and I did get those in a scrapbook kit like maybe a year ago or so, but you know, they're just black tabs. You can use them for anything. I had those. Those are gorgeous. The One Canoe Two Saturday Afternoon Wood Veneers. Really big paper clips. That might be fun if, I don't know, I I don't do much memory planning, but they, those would be kind of cute for something like that. Or if you have a dedicated craft room, you can have cut files up on them. There's some Bow Bunny Easter die cuts, which I thought were ever so pretty. See, look at all the Bow Bunny. There's there's a ton of that, and that is new in my store. You know, the, uh, the different die cuts and embellishments. And with Bow Bunny, you can get some really large pieces, and then they'll sprinkle in some little pieces as well, so you can get a really great value out of them. Those were, at first I thought those were for baking, but they actually are for like shaker pockets or something like that. Those are for um, office supplies and they were magnetic. See those, I looked at those, I'm like, oh yeah, I really need to use up some of those mixed alphas I have. Or like the, the ones that aren't are all the way attached down. Like I know I have those say la ones. And I think I have those bits ones too. I just never reach for them, so I have to make myself reach for them. So here I am. I am hunting. I'm like, there's got to be something new. That is Confetti Wishes. Now, there's a ton of stuff for stampers that looked new in my store. So I was looking through going, okay, so if you're a stamper or um, if you like those little embossed, envelopes there was lots and lots of that kind of stuff in the store today I don't do as much for that I mean if I'm gonna stamp I I usually like it to be like hexagons or circles or super versatile kind of stamping um, maybe shapes and stuff like that or you know simple flowers because I'm just not that good at stamping so but for uh, Avid Stampers and Card Makers, there were a lot of new goodies in. So I thought that was kind of fun. I did see, see those mushrooms right there? Sarah Scraps needs those mushrooms. She has a mushroom thing. I thought those were really cute. So Bow Bunny, you see the festive stamps there. They had all different ones from Santa's to pumpkins and all that kind of stuff. Much larger Bow Bunny stamps. But I mean, they're beautiful and intricate and all that kind of stuff. So yes card makers and stampers, I would rush on in and get yourself a fantastic value. Those are all Bow Bunny. That is crazy how many they had. See? Oh, those are perfect for cards. Little alphas, and those kind of look like varsity font. Nice. I think those are cute. They already have some color on the stamp, or probably in the background, but it gives you a little bit more of an idea of what they could look like, but I thought those were really cute. Some Chamel thrown in. See, I, th I think that there's plenty. Oh, right there, I see some Jane Davenport dies. They had a few different kinds. That giant scallop could be useful if you want to get out your. What, what kind do I have? I have a. It's not a crocodile. What is, I don't know. It's lime green. It's lime green. I wanted to add a crop once. So yes, more embossing folders, like I said. I was trying to take my time and look through for you guys, because just because I am not um, needing a product does not mean you haven't been on the hunt for it. So we see there that there are more of the Maggie Home stamps. Uh, these are the Illustrated Faith Puppy Crosses. Uh, they didn't have any other colors in aside from that. A little Jolie's Boutique. 
and uh, crepe paper goodies, and I have both of those. Now to the right you see those really great fabric stickers. I think those are awesome. And I think they're from 2011. So way to go Amy Tan for inspiring us still with some much, much older product. Those are Amy Tan rub-ons and I refrain from that since I am trying to fight through my extensive rub-on collection right now. Cute little bows in both silver and in gold. Some nice dimensional flowers. They did have some nice dimensional pieces, but that's just too puffy for my scrapbooking, so that was not going to make its way home. Those are beautiful as well. There are some nice labels that are perfect for patriotic stuff. Some Chamel, um, what are those? Like They have like little glitter shakers, and I'm working through my second set of those by Chamel right now. So lots of the Momenta pieces. I have a few sets of them and I have not finished a single one off. So I figured I am not allowed to get more of those. Those were beautiful. Those were like, um, what do you call it? Not acetate, like acrylic pieces, the first ones. So more Momenta back there, but it's not new to my store, but you might be on the hunt little pieces though there are a bunch of like post-it note style things those are cork which reminded me that I have a bunch of cork that I should stamp or do something with that is one of the things that's nice about going to Tuesday morning is you can get a nice reminder or a refresh about stuff that you already have that you really could use you know to actually use up and I Oh, I wonder what those are for. There's some kind of filler that looks like pork. I don't know what those are for. So more pieces back there. Those are paper clips you see back there. Tons of bow. Okay, anybody who's into bow bunny go to Tuesday morning because there is yet more. Those are enamel shapes. Oh, these flare buttons I thought were awesome because they were super usable, like, easy to use a flare and they didn't cost an arm and a leg. Flares can get really expensive. So those are great and I am loving them. Um, there are lots of older Brad sets. I saw a little bit of Amy Tan puppies. Now these Bow Bunny, they're, they're called Sugar Dots or something like that. They were all in the pink and red tones and I picked those up a good month ago. A few more Puffy parts from Dear Lizzie, rub-ons that I am not picking up at this time, although those are nice. Oh, I know that's weird, but I put them with the other ones. They just were out of order. So bow bunny brads in all different colors and collections. Now these I liked. These were by Momenta. It's the only ones I saw, and there were arrows in all kinds of colors. I thought that was super useful. Those are dimensional stickers by Bo Bunny there, as well as more of those enamel shapes by Amy Tan. Oh, and here are a bunch of card sets, like designer box cards, in case you need something like that. We had a nice selection of them in store. Now, I did see these really great uh, planner kits by Heidi Swap. Uh, they are not that old. I remember actually looking at them recently thinking that they were beautiful and I love all things Heidi. So very tempted, but I didn't get them. But I think my store had every one that were, was in her uh, collection when she came out with them. Because they are beautiful, but all kinds of them. My store also did such a beautiful job with all the Project Life, but I'll be showing you that. Here's our mixed media section in the store. Those were, um, yeah, waterproof pens. So that might be cool if you are into like art journaling. All kinds of ink, including the gray. And I keep wondering if I should pick it up, but I still have not. Still have not. I need to use a lot more of the mixed media I have before I bring in a ton. So we, we have a nice selection though. These were Creative Devotion stamps, you know, roller stamps with all kinds of great sentiments. You can get a little value on those if you like that kind of thing. 
Those are the, is that Bray Rose, Bria Rose, or Reese little sets. And then I was looking underneath and that's where they had tons and tons of their alcohol markers and you know, all the different colors, the neutrals, the brights, the blues, the reds, all that kind of stuff. Oh, and then I saw under here too, I was like, oh, is there anything we should look at? And they had these really cool like wood slices. If that is your vibe, I thought those were pretty neat. Now to go through these, if you are a Project Life uh, crafter, we had some beautiful sets. I mean, there was the acetate ones. I did end up seeing the wood veneer set. There's glitter, there's foil. So massive value on, on those sets. I don't want to bring any more Project Life cards into my uh, stash. Otherwise, I would have got the one with the wood veneer, but I mean, because they're so affordable. And anything I do mess up, in case you ask, I, I do fix everything. And I tend to go around and put like with like. Those are puffy stickers by Project Life. Nice metallic cards. And those were uh, grid cards, which Nicole Jones always talks about, as well as just the plain ones, in the event that you need anything like that. They have some of the art books through here, and then the larger Project Life collections are down below in my Tuesday morning. So there is, yeah, I mean, you could go crazy. Now, I am not interested in bringing in any more washi tape into my room unless it comes into in a kit that I receive, but I thought you could take a quick look to see what is current in store. They also have all of this these uh, rolls for your cutting machines, tons of colors, tons of um, finishes. We have some plastic boxes and I did end up getting the uh, 12 by 12 iris container, probably 13 by 13. We are memory keepers tools, nothing new that I saw in store. It's a giant bone folder up there though. But you know, I, it's so funny, I see them at Tuesday morning and I see the same exact ones that are still at Michael's or Joann's or whatever. And it's, it's amazing to me. They do have the two different colors in the foil quill pens. I don't know what you do with them, but they do have them. That is the one like the, you know, to do like the wire and make little words with it. That's a pom-pom maker. If you need to pom-pom, they have All right, my friends, I thought I would do a car video haul since. All right, my friends, I thought I would do a car video haul since I started here, I thought I'd end here. So let me show you a couple non-scrappy things super quick. I've had these before and they are insanely good, but they are going into my mother's Easter basket. She doesn't watch my channel, so we are good there. So that's her first Easter basket goodie. We pop that down. And then this was adorable. They are called Sea Gems Paper Planters. So there's a four pack of little herbs in here with all the little goodies that you need. And let's see, there is winter time, which time here is a perennial. So she could just keep that in her yard. Oregano, parsley, and cilantro. So I thought that was cute for an Easter basket. And she is a very, very big made in the USA kind of girl. And it's actually from our state. So how awesome is that? Now on to scrappy goodness. I did not get much. I actually had some alphas um, in my hand and I think they were the ones that go to Dear Lizzie New Day and I put them back because they were multicolored and I have way too many alphas. So the alphas I'm bringing in, I'm trying to make them like black white craft. All right, let me show you what I did pick up. I have these flare buttons here. Um, they're flare very easy to use like check mark this has just the days of the week so it's one of those can go on almost anything and i do make my own epoxy flare but the price was right here and i thought they're cute next i picked up these wooden you know wood veneer arrow stickers so there's adhesive on the back mostly red kind of an aqua i've got some orange in there i have gold some really nice deep kind of mulberry violet color and a little bit of green so 
Those are super usable. I can use those on a bunch of things and they're $1.49. There's no tag on them, but I did have to bring another set of Momenta wood veneer up to show. So those were really cost effective. Now these, I picked up another set of these recently. And I mean, they are old school. Let's see if it has the date on them. What do I think they're like? Oh yeah, 2011, 2011. And I think they are awesome. They are by Amy Tan, Remarks from the Dreaming Collection, I guess. But they're fabric stickers. So you get this totally different kind of texture. And I do kind of dig the 70s vibe. I think it's because I just had this paper pad in my paper pad series. I think that's why I was feeling it, but I really like them. I think they are fun and the colors are a little different than what you see today. So that's cool. And then finally, I picked up this Good Day Sunshine paper pack. Let's see. It says it's a 2018 collection by Echo Park made in the USA. And... There are 12 double-sided papers, including the cover and a 12 inch element, I'm sorry, a 12 by 12 element sticker sheet. And hopefully the lighting's good in here. It's starting to get sunny. So I have these, I mean, it's rather primary and it's like a slightly off white background. It's not bright white is what I'm seeing. And let's look at the sticker sheet together really quickly. Okay, I have a thing for those little campers, so that might be part of the problem. We've got an adorable little teepee, a little wagon, and that's how I take my older bulldog for walks now. He has his own wagon, cute little grill, another camper, some flip-flops. So absolutely adorable summer camping kind of collection. I think I'm going to have myself a ball with that. And I am going to be doing a collections um, series coming up with making kits out of collections. So that'll be fun. Okay, that is it for today, friends. And I will see you guys ever so soon with another video. Bye-bye now. Hey, friends. I didn't tell you in my haul that I picked up one of these little iris box container -y things. And it was $3.99. And I don't actually know what brand it is. But you know what I mean. The 12 by 12 clear craft containers. I always get clear. I never get the color ones because I like to see what is what. All right, that was the last thing. Talk to you guys later. Bye-bye.